It's a Series 2 cold start. It's a Kigley crank trigger. It's got ID2000 injectors. Um, it, well, it was only f mid 40s for coolant and air temp. Um, but it's still triggered on literally the second or third crank over. Um, this is basically a 1G DSM setup. Uh, it's a 1990 Mitsubishi Mirage Lil Evo. Uh, put down 800 all-wheel horsepower last year. Um, and I, my goal on this was to make it as stock driving as possible. So I still have power steering, AC, um, an ISC for idle control. And I've been just kind of working at it over the years just to nail down the perfect cold start. And uh, finally, I've made progress here. It is only pump gas, so um, we'll be doing a pump gear, um, a E85 tutorial at some point. Um, but for now, this is what it is. is set up a little bit higher just to warm up the car quicker. Um, I could probably drop it down a couple hundred RPM, but this seems to be working okay for me so far. Um, kind of a weird idle percent versus target map there, um, but here's the actual vitals of it. This does have GS... Um, what are they? They're Stage 3 GSC cams. I was running FP4R cams last year, but made the switch to these. So idle control, like I said, I'm using a brand new black ISC. And um, again, my goal was to make it as drivable and as close to stock as possible. So nice smooth idle, nothing crazy, no idle surge, high RPMs in neutral or when you're stopped or anything like that. It idles at a solid. Eh, about 950 RPM when it's fully warmed up. Um, ignition versus idle. Usually when it's warmed up, it's right in the middle. Uh, when it's colder, it pulls a lot more timing out just to keep things sane. The target's self-explanatory. I mean, pretty much what coolant temp you want the uh, idle to be at. Run down at the uh, actual start tab. So these are all the tables that you have to have set up for a perfect cold start and hot start. Um, I found the easiest way to do this is pretty much get the car started any way possible when it's cold, let it warm up to normal temp, and then um, work on these two tables, the crank injector time and uh, initial crank pulse table. Because when the vehicle is warmed up, all of these uh, enrichments, the start extra, and start extra versus temp should all be zeroed out. Uh, but when it's colder, you need those a um, little bit higher depending on your setup to get more fuel at a colder startup. When the air is colder, the, te the coolant temp's colder and everything. So when the car is warmed up fully, um, it'll start the same way. Usually on the third crank over, it'll fire right up and that is based solely on this table here the crank injector time and then the initial crank pulse they're pretty close to the stock um, 1g startup calibration crank injector time is a lot less because these are 2000 cc injectors versus the 450 stock and then after that um, I found it was easiest to just work backwards, let the car cool down, and then slowly figure out these charts on the bottom. This one's the most important, start extra versus temp. This is going to inject extra percent of fuel, as seen on the left side, based on the coolant temperature. Um, so the colder it gets, the more fuel you need, and that is what you need to adjust. This is also adjusted for temperature, but this is pretty much based on the stock map. Um, I tried it just straight across the board, kind of like the crank injector timetable, but it didn't work so well. 
So this is working really well, down to about 32 degrees coolant temp. Um, and then it also needs this much more fuel. And the start extra decay is just the amount of time and seconds that um, it adds that extra fuel. Um, and then that is also tied in with this map, the warm-up enrichment. Uh, basically, for however many seconds you set on here, it's going to enrich the fuel mixture over here. So if the car starts up immediately, and let's say it's very rich at 68 degrees coolant temp, you're going to want to move that bar down. This is how you adjust the AFR um, when the car is running during a cold start. Obviously it also depends on your fuel map, but this is, this is your starting, how to get the car started basically. So uh, we'll do some more videos if we find some more relevant stuff to post about. But see, we're right at about 1,000 RPM, somewhere in there. The, the S3 cams need a little bit higher just to stay steady. And we're at 180 degrees. So here we'll do a hot start. We're warmed up to temp. So it didn't start right away. It needs a little bit of tweaking yet. But on the second crank, I mean, it started right up. So we'll have to mess with uh, some things here. Everything's zeroed out on the enrichment. So we might have to play with the initial crank pulse. Maybe raise that up a tiny bit to get it to start on the first crank. Uh, let's try it again here. Yeah, so it takes a little extra cranking when it's warm. Not a big deal, but uh, we wanted to start like it started when it was cold. So we'll play around with this and see what happens, maybe get a little bit better start, but cold start's the most important, that's a pain in the butt to get down right, especially when you go um, play with different fuels, E85. But once you get the pump gas mapped down, um, that's the important part, you can build off of this if you're running other fuels.